There's a spot in Walker where you can find one-of-a-kind paintings, comic books, and wood carvings all under the same roof. Reporter Sherelle Moore takes us to every unique corner of the Walker, and Antique, Walker Art and Antique Mall in this week's In Focus. Whether you're looking for a niche piece of wall art, that one record your parents used to listen to, or the perfect frame for your family portrait, there's a good chance it's sitting in the Walker Art and Antique Mall. The mall is unique in the fact that it sort of doubles as a gallery. What we do at the mall here is we showcase local artists in the area. We have potters, painters, jewelry makers, woodworkers, everything in between. The mall has been in business for 20 years. The lower level houses hundreds of antiques, like records, books, and figurines. Meanwhile, the top floor is where you'll find the artwork. This is CJ Green. Uh, he does watercolor, uh, oil, uh, mosaics, as you can see. Right here we have Kelly Kramer. Uh, she's our number one jewelry person. Very stylish, current, up-to-date styles. Cyrus Swan, he's from Pine River, which isn't too far from Walker. Uh, very talented potter, um, also teaches at BSU. The Walker Mall is ginormous. Every nook and cranny is filled to the brim with different works of art. There's thousands of items in about 30 different genres. The mall works with more than 85 collaborators, and that's just now. In the summer, that number grows. 95% of our artists are local within half hour to an hour. Uh, we do have a few from uh, the cities and one from Alaska. The mall has become a treasured spot amongst artists and locals in the community. Right now, they're on the off season, but in summer, the foot traffic really picks up, which creates a ton of opportunities for artists to have their work seen by the public. There's a lot of good artists in the area and it's good to showcase them um, and have a spot where they can uh, show their items and have a uh, low overhead. The mall is open six days a week from 10 to 5 during the year. In the summer, they're open seven days a week. Reporting on Walker with this week's In Focus, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.